of the story of Maine is the story of its art. There are a lot of artists who have lived here and created work over the last 150, 200 years. Many of them you know, many of them you don't know. Donna McNeil actually joined up with Evelyn Koch's niece, Christina Ships. She joins us now to talk about this book that they put together, There Has to Be Magic. Evelyn Koch was someone who just created extraordinary work. What was it that called you in to meet up with Christina to even start this process? Well, anyone who's been to Stonington, Maine has probably seen The Heap. The Heap is the gallery of the purple fish that Evelyn lived and worked in her whole life. It's right on the waterfront, it's a little shed. I had stumbled in there one day and met Evelyn. Flash forward 10 or more years, and uh, Don Tusky, the president, former president of Mecca, asked me to go there and meet Christina. He'd seen Evelyn's work on the wall of the inn that she owned in Stonington. And that's how the story began. Christina holds all this ephemera, all these pictures and objects uh, from the family and was able to tell me the stories and together uh, through her storytelling I wrote it down and assembled the images and etc. Before you even met Christina you tell the story of how you had stumbled in there and <laughs> you were com immediately drawn to her yeah. work. I was. I. Uh, it was a jumble of a place. Uh, with all kinds of things in there. She made musical instruments, she calligraphed bookmarks, she drew schooners, but I saw up in the corner a, um, a medical drawing, and I, uh, it was of such superior quality, I just was drawn to it, and I took it down off the shelf and I asked her if I could buy it. She goes, oh no, 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 that's, that's mine, that's another life, I, I'm not selling that. And I begged. <laughs> pleaded for a little bit and she said no and she ended up you know putting my name on a bookmark and I, w I was out of there and that was my exchange oh the other thing that happened was that a schooner ship came into port and she was fascinated by them and everything stopped if the schooners came into port so we were shoot out quick biography of Evelyn Koch when did she live from when to when roughly oh my gosh uh, she from the 20s to and she died four years ago yeah. and she lived at much of her life in Arusta County she did. She, her husband, Jan Koch, uh, was a professor there uh, in Presque Isle. And um, so she lived there uh, in the winters, God bless her, and in the summers in Stonington. For part of her artistic life, she worked as a medical illustrator, mm. which was an unusual field for anyone to get into, especially mm -hmm. an unusual field for women at that time. In fact, when she got started, the first time she was in an operating room to get a sense of what things looked like, what happened? She fainted, like <laughs> everybody else who goes in there. Of course. It took a few times. Uh, in, she graduated from um, Mass P School of Practical Art. And she attached herself to a surgeon, as is, was the way then. And he was Dr. Overholt. He was a pulmonary surgeon. And she would go into the operating theater with him and sketch. And you'll see there's many books of people that didn't survive the operations. But um, even today, when I was doing my research, uh, I talked to the folks at John Hopkins. And they feel that drawings and paintings are sometimes more informative, even today, than photographs. For doctors. For doctors. She was obviously very creative, but there are yes. maps in there too. Um, what got her? She into loved Presque Isle. She thought the people there were incredibly genuine. She loved the rolling hills. She, she loved the honesty and authenticity of the place. And um, so when people would come to ask her to draw things, because she had a great facility to draw, she would do that. And she drew more than one beautifully il illustrated map of Aroostook County. You talk about how creative she was, and I just want to briefly talk about the cover of this book. <laughs> with her with a massive printing press, mm -hmm. what is the story there? <laughs> well, it's a sort of a like this, and um, <laughs> she was a great experimenter. You'll see in the book that she just took her creativity everywhere, but this is a story of the town of Presque Isle's uh, newspaper calling her up and saying, we've got this huge press, we're not going to use it anymore, we're updating, do you want it? She goes, oh yeah, bring it over to her studio. It didn't fit in the door and she took a chainsaw and cut out an opening <laughs> for the pr press that is, is here on the front cover. <laughs> That's a classic Evelyn story. <laughs> The name of the book, There Has to Be Magic, The Art of Evelyn Koch. If you've never heard of Evelyn Koch, aren't familiar with her work, this is the place to start. Mm -hmm. Donna Marie McNeil, thank you so much Thanks for coming so much in. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it's you being here. And we'll be back with more of 207 in just a moment.